Alright you guys, hey this is Mrs. Delgado and this video is for saxophone players and it's about maintaining your instrument while you are at home and probably through the summer until you're able to take your instrument to the shop if needed um, and before school starts back up in the fall, hopefully the fall. Okay. So in this video, we're going to talk about simple cleaning maintenance. And if you need to disinfect your mouthpiece at all, this is how to give you some tips on some easy ways to do it without having to leave your home. Okay. Um, if you are experiencing anything with your instrument that is not normal, um, just email me at rdelgado at dickinsonist.org. We'll set up a Zoom um, little chat you're going to possibly play and then describe what's happening and then I'll diagnose what I believe the issue is via Zoom and then tell you, if able, what to fix. And if I can't do that, then the best thing is, is that you need to wait until the music store shop, repair shops open up and then take your instrument to go get repaired then. Okay, all right. So that's kind of what you should do if what I'm telling you can't fix it. Now, remember you guys that if I can't help you fix it, doesn't mean that then you go to YouTube and type in the search bar how to repair a broken whatever on your instrument because I tell you it's broken. Don't do that. Your parents are incredibly intelligent, so are your family members, but leave things like this to the professionals. That's what they do. Okay, they do this all day is repairing instruments. Whereas your parents and guardians and family members, they don't repair instruments. Okay. All right, so leave it to the professionals because if your parents try to fix it, they actually could make it worse. Okay, so we're going to start off with some refresh refreshers on maintenance on your instrument, saxophone players. So you'll need your silk swab to clean the body of the instrument. Okay, if you have lost your silk swab or you've never purchased one, um, you can go to Amazon and search alto saxophone silk swab, music and arts, Brooke Mays, um, some of y'all have different brands. The cheapest one that's pretty good is Jim, G-E-M, Hodge silk swab. Those are about $15 for alto saxophone. If your silk swab is starting to smell funny and you're like, I don't know about that, then you can actually probably put it in your washing machine, put it on delicate, add a little soap, then when it's done, take it out and air dry it and it should look pretty good. If it doesn't, you might want to purchase a new one. Okay? All right. So you'll need your uh, silk swab to clean the body. Now, if you are wanting to clean the outside of your saxophone to shine it, remember some of your care kits came with a polishing cloth. And if it didn't and your instrument needs a shine, then you can use a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt without any designs on it, and then use that and to just polish the keys and the body. It's a very simple way to polish without damaging your instrument and without your parents having to go out and buy anything. Okay, alrighty, so you know how to clean the body of the instrument. Now let's talk about the neck. The neck does need a bit of maintenance, okay? So if somebody plays your instrument, either your mouthpiece and neck without you knowing, or we call it our baby saxophone, and they've played it and you need to clean the neck, Okay, what they state is that you can first off use, you know, half hydrogen peroxide, half water, 50-50, or 50-50 rubbing alcohol and water, and then use that solution. Most of us do not have that type of solution to clean our instruments with, and we might not even have a period. So if that's you, and you don't have any of that, then what you're gonna use is 50%, you know, you can use 50% or more, but you're just gonna use water, room temperature water, and then whatever type of gentle cleanser you have. Cleanser is a fancy word for soap. So if you have some foam antibacterial soap, some Dial, um, liquid hand soap, Dawn, dishwashing soap, a little bit, will get that those bubbles going. And that's a fine cleaning solution to use. If that's all you have, then yes, use that, okay? So they say with the neck, that you're going to take that solution and either a wire brush that came with your saxophone, some of y'all probably never got that, that's okay, or even a toothbrush or a bottle brush. 
Most of y'all do not have bottle brushes. You're going to be using your tooth, an old toothbrush. Don't use your sibling's toothbrush and go, Miss Delgado told me to use a toothbrush. So, you know, I just, I grabbed one and I grabbed my sister's toothbrush. Okay. Do not grab any toothbrush. Okay. That's just a random toothbrush. An old toothbrush, no one's using that can be thrown away and easily replaced. So what you would do with that is you would take your solution, wet the brush, and then clean the inside of your neck, the top part and the bottom part. And you would clean the top and bottom part of your saxophone neck. Okay? You would not put the instrument underneath water or submerge it into anything. Okay, you're just using that toothbrush. Once you've cleaned the inside of your neck, then you would try to dry it off with paper towels, okay, whatever you have, and then air dry it. Okay, and that's how you would clean the neck of the saxophone. And they even say, some people say to do it weekly or every other week, depending on how much it's being played. Okay, um, I would recommend you guys that if you are the one playing it the entire time, there's no reason to clean it that much. Um, not like on a weekly basis, but every other week, okay? If you found out someone played your saxophone with later on, then it's probably a really good idea if, you know, do it immediately. Immediately that you find out. Clean it then, okay? All right, so we have the body. We've talked about the body. We've talked about the neck. And, of course, you know, same thing. Use the T-shirt to polish it. Use your soap swab to clean the insides. And then use the toothbrush and gentle cleanser. Okay, next let's talk about cleaning your ligature. Now, half of y'all probably like, like what? Ligature. It's either gold, silver, ooh, I can't see, gold, silver, or leather. And you got the one that says Bonade, or you got the Ravner leather one. Because you know whenever you put your mouthpiece, your ligature on your mouthpiece, okay, it's going to touch your spit. So if that's you, and you're like, yeah, I'm pretty spitty, you're probably wondering, how do you clean your ligature? So cleaning your ligature is just as simple as, again, room temperature water, some soap, clean it, and then once you do that, then use um, a wash, you know, a dry paper towel or any type of towel and dry it off. That's how you would disinfect your ligature if you don't have anything fancy, meaning like Lysol spray or rubbing alcohol. That's 50% rubbing alcohol, 50% water to clean it, to disinfect it. Okay, all right. Then the next thing we move on is your mouthpiece. Okay. Now, if you're having issues putting your mouthpiece on your uh, neck of your saxophone, remember to use cork grease. Okay. It, um, so the more doesn't mean the better. <laughs> so remember that. Just I always would apply it on the cork and then rub it in. Okay. And never ever get your cork wet because cork absorbs. So we don't want to get it wet. We do want to use cork grease because cork grease is better than water. Water can damage this. Grease just makes it easier for this to slide onto your neck. And remember, you have cork on your neck too, and you would rub grease on this. Never water. Okay. So you say, for example, you just want to clean your mouthpiece. So what you would do uh, is same as clarinet. You get room temperature water and get it in a clear container. It can be a glass cup, plastic cup. Um, I'm accident prone, meaning I break things very easily. So I didn't use my glass cups. I just found a plastic container. I did this for my clarinets too. And you just put your room temperature water in it. And then whatever cleanser you have, cleaner, not face wash, Okay, I know like Neutrogena cleanser, cleanser says on there, not that. You're going to use Dial hand soap, any type of foam soap you have that's like a hand soap. Dawn, just put a little bit in there and then you're going to stir it around. And then you're going to make some nice soapy water. Okay, then you're going to take your mouthpiece, cork side up, and then you're going to dip it into your soapy water. Just like the clarinet one, you're gonna let it sit in there for five, four, three to five minutes. Excuse me. And you're just gonna let it stick, get wet. Okay. Never let your cork get wet. Remember. So you're gonna get that wet. Okay. And then you can take that bottle brush, toothbrush, 
and then scrub the inside of your mouthpiece. Then when, if you don't have anything like that, you could use Q-tips. Okay, those little um, Q-tips will be fun, the things you clean your ear with. Um, then you would clean the inside of it. And then you would take a paper towel, a washcloth, whatever you have, and dry off your mouthpiece. And then lay it standing up like this and let it dry. And that's the best way and the fastest, easiest, cheapest, safest way currently to clean your mouthpiece. Now, articles have stated that if you want to really truly disinfect it, then of course after you've done that, let it dry. You would spray like Lysol on it or you put rubbing alcohol, all these crazy things, okay? If you are the only one playing this, there's no reason to take that extra step. However, if you do find someone playing this, then your safest bet is to do exactly what you just did. Try to find some Lysol and spray that mouthpiece down and do not put your mouth on that mouthpiece for like up to five days because COVID-19 can live on plastic for quite a while. Okay, so your safest bet is don't touch your mouthpiece, don't touch your clarinet for five days. And if you've cleaned that instrument, then after that, you wash your hands for more than 20 seconds. Okay, all right, don't touch your face, clean your hands immediately. Alrighty, and I would say even Lysol your case because it can live on plastic and most of your cases are made from plastic. So, it's very important that whenever you're cleaning your instrument to not get the, well, the instrument wet. The only thing you can get wet really is your mouthpiece because it's plastic. The rest of your body of the instrument does not need to get wet saxophones, okay? All right, meaning submerged. The only thing that should be submerged is your mouthpiece, okay? So, swab after every time you play your instrument including your mouthpiece and your neck. Don't let anybody play your instrument. If you have any issues with the maintenance part, meaning something is like falling apart, it's not going down, sounds kind of strange, then email me. Even if it's the summer and you're technically no longer at Dunbar Middle School, you still should contact me and I'll try my best to help guide you on how to fix your instrument and the best way to go about doing that. Okay, all right you guys.